Hello folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You're joining me today for Letters from TV Licensing Volume 12. And today folks marks a bit of a personal milestone in Mr H's legally licensed free journey. Because today I have reached, finally, my first dirty dozen of these things. Now normally they come through on or around the 18th of each month for Mr H. But for some unknown reason this one... Dropped on Mr H's doormat on the 29th of April. It was right at the end of the month. I thought they'd forgotten about me, to be honest. Especially with all this that's currently going on regarding the coronavirus. I just thought uh, they'd stop sending them out. But they haven't let me down, Hot Potters. They did send me one and they hadn't forgotten me. So, folks, without further ado, let's jump straight into this letter, shall we? And uh, we'll take a look at it. So, folks, if Mr H's editing skills have worked out as he wants them to, you should now have a copy of the letter that I'm holding up in front of you should have a scanned copy. So we'll jump straight into it and we'll read along together, shall we? Now in the top left hand corner where all that is blank normally would be my address and some QR codes which would help identify me to TV licensing. It would also have the title The Legal Occupier. I've removed all that for obvious reasons. But over in the top right hand corner we've got the TV licensing logo Beneath that, in really small print, we've got the TV licensing web address. Now, just going off this for a moment, a little bit of a warning to anybody who doesn't know and may be thinking of visiting the TV licensing website, just out of idle curiosity or to play around, you know, putting details in and things like that. If I was you, I wouldn't. And for the simple reason that once you click onto TV licensing's website, they put cookies and other little tracking things onto your machine you know little small files so they can tell where you've been on their website and whether you've bought a license and things like that so if you don't want any little nasties putting on your machine i'd keep away from it also the website was hacked in the past you know it's been compromised so you don't want to be putting your details in unless you really really need to anyway back to the letter Beneath the logo, we've got unlicensed property, which is in black and in bold. Now, I already know that my, my property is unlicensed, but they feel that they need to tell me this. Underneath that, we've got what would be a reference number, which I've removed. Then we've got the date, which is April 2020, when this was sent out. And then we start getting into the letter, and it's titled, Please Act Now. That's in bold, and it's in orange. It's not in red, which would be really important, you know, to try and hurt back to the old red letter days, you know, when people's gas bills and that was on the final demand. It's not doing that, but it's not green either. It's one of those colours that sort of tries to trigger something in the old noggin and make you do something. And that's why they've put it in orange. Then underneath that, we've got Dear Sir, Madam. According to our database, this address is still not covered by a TV licence. That means it's against the law to watch or record live TV programmes on any channel or to download or watch BBC programmes on iPlayer at this address. This applies to any device you may use. Then we have in bold and in black, what to do if you need a TV licence. Then we've got underneath, please do one of the following. Then we've got a box here, which is obviously the preferred method. That's why they framed it in orange really, isn't it? And then they've got in black, in bold, buy a licence, which is a statement really, isn't it? Buy a licence. You can either pay £157.50 now or spread the cost with a direct debit. Go to, and then they send me back to the website, really, in a division to allow me to pay on that website. Then the letter goes back on to state, you can also move your licence from an old address to this one. Visit, and then it sends me to another subdivision of the TV licensing website. Or call our 24-7 automated phone service on, and there's a phone number there. If a TV licence isn't needed at this address, sorry, the property isn't currently occupied, please let us know and we'll update our records. Visit, and once again it sends you to another subdivision. Obviously by making that the third option, that's the less preferred option in their eyes, isn't it really? They don't want you doing that. But um, they do want you to update their records. For more information on other ways to contact us, please turn over. As always, I'm not going to get into that because it's just basically gubbins telling you how you can contact them and uh, buy a licence, basically. So I'm not going to go all through all that. It's not really important as I don't need a licence, do I? Then it goes on to state, if you've recently bought or moved a licence, thank you, our records will be updated. Yours faithfully, Jackie Garswood, Customer Service Manager. 
and then beneath that it just states the please do not write below this line they do that with threatograms for some reason tv licensing i don't know why as always i always wonder what would happen if i wrote beneath that line they'd never know would they anyway that's uh this month's little threatogram or should i say it was last month's threatogram because i received it right at the death didn't i and i'll go back on the big screen now and we'll digest this one because it's been a rather polite threatogram this month i don't know what you guys think about that but i'll go back on the big screen now and we'll have a little chat about it and then wrap this one up so folks there you go that marks the first dirty dozen of these things for mr h from the good old folks over there at tv licensing now i was hoping for something to be a bit more shock and awe if i'm being honest and uh, a little bit more threatening with it being the 12th one and a bit of a milestone i wanted to mark it with something like the what to expect in court letter but uh, it hasn't gone that way has it and i must admit that i thought when i first read this that i've been bumped right back to the beginning of the threatogram cycle simply because it's too polite by tv licenses standards and also the name jackie garswood that's a bit of a red flag for anybody who's just beginning the legally licensed free journey and have just gone the no contact route it will be jackie garswood who'll write to you in the beginning after that it will move on to enforcement managers and things like that you'll start seeing names turn up like that but uh, jane jeffers is one of them and phil carvel he's another one but uh, when you see Jackie Gars, would you're at the beginning when they want to be softly, softly and things like that. Anyway, who knows, maybe this is the way they're going to go moving forward. They're going to write to people, TV licensing, a.k.a. the BBC, and speak to them like human beings. Who knows, let's hope so. But um, there's probably two reasons this particular template has hit the press, and it's um, not mentioning any threats. It's number one. The free over 75s TV licenses, they should have been wrapped up by now. I think they've been extended a little bit due to the coronavirus outbreak and the fact that staff have been furloughed here, there and everywhere. So that's probably one of the reasons, you know, they don't want threatening letters landing on OAP's mats and the bad PR from that. And also due to furloughing because of the coronavirus outbreak, they know that they can't put in that they're knocking on a door every six seconds and things like that. Because people will just laugh at it and say, well, you know, the, I doubt you're essential staff and things like that. So they want to keep that myth going as well. And they know that if they claim that they're knocking on doors when it's blatantly clear that they're not, then it's going to be laughed at and a bit seen as a bigger myth than the old uh, TV detective vans, isn't it? So, folks, there we go. That was uh, April's threatogram or not as the case may be because as i say it's a rather polite letter by tv licensing standards soft soap in my work hot potters i'm still not going to contact them and i'm going to eagerly await what will uh, arrive this month but until then when it will be letters from tv licensing volume 13 which will be unlucky for some i'm sure i'm going to leave it here and i'm going to wrap this video up so folks until the next time when you will join me, hopefully, for Letters from TV Licensing Volume 13, it is. Bye-bye for now.